Emotion actually came from, well, it's hard to say. I've been actually, it's been in my head for like the last couple of years. I've been wanting to do a show for my site, mainly because I wanted something that I could invest my time in that was like worth something that was entertaining to do. I've done several shows already. Status and show from status quo. I don't think I've ever gone past the pilot. Um, a lot of them are horrible. We can you play without really knowing how to play? First episode, Angry Monkey. I'm a club promoter, so you know I could get you hooked up with all the coolest clubs around town. Well, man. I mean, I guess in time you kind of learn from all those. So I mean, definitely from the first show to the last show I did, which is the Bastard Chronicles. <laughs> You see a big difference in my film makes you Looking like a badass is easy when you're shooting a large gun. My whole idea was if I was going to do a show, I want to make sure that it's something that I find worth it. I want to make sure that I'm actually interested in actually wanting to do it, not you know something that's just a one-off. So number one, it has to let me at least practice my skills as a filmmaker. I had to be able to practice that on every every episode. It has to. I have to be able to give something back to my audience because I just don't feel like, like how most shows are nowadays. It's all about, you know, oh look at me, I'm cool, stuff like that. I I, I don't want to just be that because I don't think I'm that cool anyway. I want to have a reason to travel. So if I do a show and I'm interviewing somebody, you know, I if I was like in Costa Rica or something, that'd be amazing. Stop off the lining and then do the show. I need to be able to work and network with other people. So like if I find other artists that I find extremely interesting, quirky, or just plain weird, I'm, I'm gonna interview them. My moniker is the enabler. And really what that, basically it encompasses is the fact that I jump in and get stuff done. Leon does the creative aspect, a ton of the creative aspect, and comes with the ideas. So we often have discussions, sitting at a table like this, or in the car, or wherever, and we start coming up with ideas. And so once that happens and he gets a lot of the framework done, then my part is I come in and I basically start helping, helping out with Rolling. action, framing the shot or blocking the shots or setting the lights or setting the sound and, and basically going through and doing some of the menial stuff that needs to get done. I mean, he, we both do it, but really that's what it is. So it's, it's basically me enabling the process along to, to get Wait, say that again? the shots that we need. I mean, creatively, I help too, as far as coming up with the shots or coming up with ideas for different things. Um, but that's really my monitors to enable all that stuff to come through onto, onto the camera. The beauty about having your own show is um, I basically have complete creative control over it. So it's not like I'm being contracted out by another company or I'm, I'm not even getting paid by another company. I pretty much can do whatever the hell I want. Why is there an Asian dude doing this? So with that being said, I've decided to take the show and kind of make it slightly experimental. The show is part series and it's also part talk show. So when we're talking about the series, we're talking about a developing story arc. We're talking about um, character development. What I'm doing is I'm kind of merging those two worlds together. So you got the talk show actually lives in the world of the series. And what that allows me to do is it allows me to break the fourth wall on my show and on my series and have them kind of commingle with each other. Since I'm not doing it for anybody else, you know, it's entirely my responsibility. If it, if it works, and if it sucks, and that's, I'm pretty much the only one to blame for that one. Wow, that was and horrible. Do it again. No, no money lost on my part. It's a lot of time lost, but it's mine. To me, I mean, I've grown, I, I didn't grow up in Sacramento. I grew up in Los Angeles. So moving to Sacramento for me was just a massive change. And Sacramento is not known for much uh, other than being the capital of California. You have some odds and ends, you have like the river, and for me there's not much more out there. I mean, unfortunately, it's sad to say, um, other than not being able to, uh, <laughs> this is timely, but not other than not, the biggest thing is probably most people know this place for is not being able to get an arena, which I'm not going to go there, but still.
Film-wise, we have The Mentalist, I think. Oh. Didn't Vin Diesel jump off a bridge? Yes. Uh, Triple X, for those who don't know, there is the bridge scene where he, the car goes off. That's actually not that far from here. That's about a 30 minute car ride up in Auburn. Forest Hill Bridge. Um, we still got the Kings. This is my production binder. Basically, I've kept all my ideas in here for the last year and a half. During development, it has all the storyboards and and all the um, scripts that I've made over the last few months. Well, basically the one thing that I've learned in this process has been the amount of work that it takes for the smallest of thing. You hear about it, if you're into movies and you think about production or producing movies or trying to do the work on them, you always, you're, you're interested. So you start looking at it and you, you will hear many of the people who, who do big movies about how much work it takes. You don't really think about that until you actually start doing it. And especially when it's a two-man crew, like this one, you know, there is a lot of work. So the glamorous side of all this stuff that a lot of people look at and they think, oh, it'd be fun to make movies. Um, it's weird because you see those in interviews from other production people who do that for a living. Here I am with Leon, and we're trying to do this, and then you recognize, man, that there is a lot of work. So that's the one thing through this entire process I've learned that you're going to work and you're going to have to enjoy the work. If not, you're going to hate it and you're not going to do it. And luckily enough, through this process, I've learned that I like doing this. This is fun. It's hard work, it's fun. Okay, take two. And as soon as Woody stops watching TV. And three. Two, one, action. So the hardest part that I think in my particular production is having no crew, being just me and him, and having to do everything mm -hmm. ourselves. You try to reach out to get some help, and mostly the only people who come to your aid is going to be friends. Shot. I don't know what shot this is. Okay, Four, what? five. Made a shot. I don't have this one written down. I don't have this one written down. I'm doing all three in a row. 4E. Uh, we're gonna go. How about 4I for improvised? The phrase that I use often while shooting is guerrilla filmmaking. So, um, because we have to um, run in and run out and get shots as we can. Um, you know, we're always on the, we always are, have that feeling like at any moment in time, we're gonna be told to leave or have the cops come up on us and say, hey, what are you guys doing? You have a permit, blah, blah, blah. So that's one of the other things. It's like, we have to get in there. And I mean, it's, it's it, this is the only time that having, the, the benefit of having, a, you know, two of us doing it is because we can, we've already now, we've been doing it for as long as we have. We have a good working rapport so we can go and we know. You know, at any any point in time, have uh, someone say you need to guys guys need to get out of here. You guys can't be doing this. So that's one of the things that's kind of a little bit um, it's, can be difficult in times. The fact that we just try to get in there, get the shots that we need, and get out. So that's another thing. Yeah, because getting arrested would suck. That would suck. So this show actually allows me to you know exercise my continuing and ongoing skills as a budding filmmaker and it also allows me to make something that I find highly personal just for the sake of me you know uh, eventually down the road I I'll get better at what I do and that that's that's the whole point of it it's like let me experiment let me find out what works let me increase my skills and advance whatever talent that I think I have and go on from there I'm hoping that my show will be able to create opportunities that I haven't even thought of yet. The thing is, once you put something out there for people to see, now you're no longer in a box. You're kind of just, you're, you're out there and you're showing the world what you have. And that already itself, you know, it, it creates opportunities just from you starting it. What I'm trying to say.